Ladies and gentlemen, Yvette Vignano. Okay, guys, this is a true story. It's a third grade classroom in San Francisco and the kids are being taught from Project Happiness. The teacher tells them, write down and draw a picture of your happiness, your dreams of the future. And Xenia draws a picture of her soccer team winning 6-4 to four that weekend. She also draws a picture of her graduating as a vet in the future. And Monday comes, she runs in and says, hey, guys, guess what? We did win 6-4. to four. And the wise teacher uses that moment to say, hey, do you think Xenia could be a vet one day? And they all say yes. That's a touchy-feely moment. I want more of those in the school curriculum. And when I say touchy-feely, what I mean is we need more emotional intelligence skills taught at school. Imagine what it was like if more of your school days looked and felt like this. If teachers were given more time to teach kids to manage and express their emotions, communicate well and solve conflict. The research is clear now that kids that are taught a quality emotional intelligence curriculum actually end up being better learners. They're much more connected to their school, they're more motivated and they're better behaved. And if you are interested in academic outcomes, the research also clearly demonstrates an academic benefit. Research done with kids delivered a quality emotional intelligence curriculum resulted in an increase of 11% in their test results. This was across 280,000 children, more than double the result that came from reducing class sizes. Preschoolers were taught social and emotional skills and then they were compared with their friends who weren't given that privilege. And years later, it was found that the kids who got the touchy-feely curriculum were earning more per month. How much more, I hear you say? $2,000 per month more. That's 1,478 euro, 2,236 Australian dollars more per month. That's important, right? More research. Some medical students were looked at and measured for their levels of anger and hostility. And 25 years later, they tracked them down and the angrier ones had more than five times the amount of heart disease. Remember the nun's story? Their touchy-feely counterparts were better off because more positive emotions means lower stress hormones and a healthier immune system. It makes you live longer. Some old Mexicans were measured for their levels of positive emotion and the ones with more positive emotion lived longer and they had lower levels of disability. Again, remember those nuns. Schools that deliver quality emotional intelligence have also been proven to have a much safer environment. The research has demonstrated beyond doubt statistically lower levels of school suspensions, better rates of attendance and kids with better conflict resolution skills. Incredibly, they've also proven that more touchy-feely in the curriculum results in lower levels of drug, tobacco and alcohol use and even lower levels of sexually transmitted disease. Touchy-feely means we all live longer and we have safer lives. Now, happiness is important because kids who are happy and are connected to their school are much more likely to fulfil their potential. If this little girl's having a bad time at home but she goes to school in a positive, supportive environment, it's much less likely that she'll go off the rails. We can't control everything that happens in a child's home but we can make sure that the 30 hours they're at school, they get taught the recipe for a happy and successful life. And that's what emotional intelligence can do for you. Did you know that teachers are told to spend 55% of the time teaching literacy and numeracy? And I've worked out that leaves 36 minutes a week to teach touchy-feely stuff to kids. That's only the crumbs of this pie and we need it to be the pastry base. Now here's the recipe. More emotional intelligence in the school curriculum has been proven to lead to greater school attachment. You add to that, you get less risky behaviour from students, greater social and emotional assets and that means a more successful school personal and professional life. Now, touchy-feely is for geeks too. Geeks invented the emoticon. It's all about being touchy-feely online. Letting your fellow Facebookers know how emotional you really are. Geeks invented social media. YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, MySpace. Did you know that IT graduates with higher emotional intelligence scores actually outperform their peers academically? Here's one more example. A guy called Chris Brogan on Twitter, he has over 124,000 followers. And I think that's because he gets really touchy-feely with his tweets. 
And I think if teachers, schools and departments of education realise this and developed great relationships with kids, they'd bring out the unique potential in every child. The online world is touchy-feely. It's not our virtual reality. It is a huge part of our social and working lives. And I want schools to do this, bring out the potential in every child and maximise kids' potential of living happily ever after. Thank you.